So let's now check out the DCO or the Digitally Controlled Oscillator section. Now I could use one of the presets. This is Bank 1, Preset 1. But instead, let's switch over to this manual mode. In this mode, the sound follows all the controls currently set. So what you see is what you get. So we have a single wave shape playing right now. You have a range control here. Or think of it like an octave switch. It's measured in feet. So higher values will give a lower pitch and vice versa. Cool. Let's talk about the wave shapes. Right now we have the pulse shape turned on. As long as the switch is set to a manual, you can then change the pulse width with the slider. At the lowest you get a square shape and anything higher will start to add even harmonics and change the tamper. Of course, you can also use the LFO to modulate this, but we will get back to that later. Now, if I turn off the pulse, we get no sound. Let's now switch on the sawtooth. Nice. Now, the cool thing is even though it's a single oscillator, you can have both shapes on at the same time. So you get this nice combined shape sound. So just changing up the pulse width there. Okay, next you get a slider to bring in a sub oscillator sound. It's fixed at a square shape and it's an octave below the main oscillator. As you can hear, it'll still work when the other two shapes are off. The next slider will bring in the noise generator signal. It's your standard white noise signal. So the pitch is same no matter which note you play. It can sound interesting when you layer the noise with the main oscillator. Maybe even the sub and get a nice thick sound. Generally you don't want the noise to be too loud. It should just blend in the background. That helps to thicken up the sound a bit. Cool, so that's the DCO section. We haven't checked out the modulation controls, which I'm saving for a later tutorial. For now, let's move on to the filter.